Yo, what to do, virtual hoopers? Before we can begin our My Career series, we gotta first start with the build. So I just wanted to show you a simple layout of how I did this entire build from top to bottom. The first thing, of course, I stuck with the small forward position, but for the specs, it boils down to this time. I decided that I was gonna go 6'8 on my height, 225 on my weight, and then the max wingspan for a 6'8 player is 7'6. So I went with that max wingspan because I really wanted a full blown, you know, in the end, you know, cover, cover guy. So for this build, I'm not telling nobody to build this build and everything, but I'm just showing you how I came up with this build when it came down to the decision making process. Of course, I went with the built body type, ain't nothing like a big burly built dude. So the first thing that I always have to focus on, of course, is my mid range shooting. In the past, you've seen me create mid range shooters that uh, were always on the low level of 70s or the mid level of 70s and a very uh, high 69 uh, three point shot. Now, of course, I bumped up my free throw for a couple of different reasons. One mainly was for uh, an addition of a couple of badges, right? But for the most part, ball handling maxes out at 76 on this build. And that's all I need right there, especially because I've had the 76 max ball handling on my build on current gen and that build came out solid for me and it was able to hit 80 and get pro dribble moves even though i didn't need pro dribble moves and you'll see that um throughout the series now for the first episode it's just gonna we're just gonna show you all the high school footage and a little sample of what this build can do in game just a little sample of it um and we're gonna decide the path that we're gonna take at the end of it all so for this build i didn't need them i as you can see, I didn't upgrade my stamina, okay? Not yet. I'm going to upgrade that near the end because stamina doesn't add too many points to it. But I really wanted to play around with some of my other numbers. Now, for close shot, I always believe that you should add something to close shot. Now, I tweaked around with the standing dunk, but I'm not going to add anything to standing dunk in the long run. Why? Because I don't really play down posts. I don't play in the post. So, like, if I'm not going to increase post control, there's no reason for me to increase standing dunk. Um, there's only a few dunk packages that I can't get without having something increased to my standing dunk. But my driving dunk is 86, which is more than enough. And when this bill gets to 99, that driving dunk would be 90. So I will be able to get, for the most part, most of the most of the contact dunks. And then when it came down to things like my vertical, I just wanted to make sure my vertical could be high enough to guarantee that I get the uh, the exact um, dunks pack, the dunk packages that I wanted. All right, so I was a little bit all over the place messing around with numbers, and I am going to end up adding some to my offensive rebounding. Okay, I mean my defensive rebounding. So when it comes down to this build, this build can shoot mid-range really well. Uh, it's its best shooting attribute, and then the three-point is not far behind it. You throw some badges on top of that. Uh, that that can make this build a lethal build for me, especially because I've always prided, prided myself on being an elite defensive build. As you can see, look at them defensive numbers. I really wanted to bump those up as best as possible. So I messed around with steals and blocks, and I realized I don't really need my steal up too high. And so I added the last little bit to my defensive rebounding. Now, when it comes down to the takeover itself, I wanted to really look at everything. But the one I'm going to end up going with, of course, is the uh, ankle breaking um, shots uh, giving me a boost for you know when I hit a person with a step back and then pull the trigger um, gives me a chance that I'll break down the defender a lot quicker and you'll see a little footage of that in the in the coming game but for the most part I went with ankle breaking shots and then I also went with extreme clamps those are the two that I wanted to go with because quite frankly that's the kind of build that I wanted to play as I want to be able to not be a liability when it comes down to shooting. I wanted to also continue to be a, a, a very, very strong defensive presence. So that's my build. That's my look. You can go back and check it out as much as you want. But I, I, I think this is the build I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to have some fun, especially because they're comparing me to Pager, Stu Yakovich, man. That's my main man right there. So when it comes down to it, let's get into the My Career Story. All right. Now, seeing as we've already gone through the high school experience, I'm not going to record all of the games. I'm only going to have one game on it just to show you a sample of what my build can do. This is the last time you'll hear from me until the very end of the video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. They did add a few um, variations to cutscenes. So be on the lookout for those. But like I said, 
not too much has changed for the high school experience and at the end of it we'll decide which path we're going to take based on the options put in front of us because we know that we can take two paths now we can take one of two paths so i'll see you guys at the end of the video the team of the century that's got to be bittersweet no one gave you a chance and you almost pulled off the upset of all time what are your emotions right now duke you know i missed the shot this is my family, and I, uh, I let him down. And that's all there is to it. Uh, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. You, you have a second? Your last one You just scored a career high three, six points in losing mm. effort against what everyone is saying. The team of the Saw your indictment tonight. Those were grown men. Good players. Season. A couple of them play D1. Held your own. That's the real game, right? Outside the gym. Follow me out here? Let's just say that I'm in the city a lot and we just happen to be there at the same time. <laughs> you can play. Your footwork and floor spacing needs a bit of cleanup. Yeah, I told you I'm a football player. Yeah, you're a senior now. And I told you I am a football How many D1 player. football offers you got so far? Tough. Committed. Plays the game the right way. You're a great player. But great isn't special. <laughs> oh, come on, coach. That's the pitch. Trash, get in the job. It's not a pitch. Still hope. Yeah. Started my Duncan didn't play organized ball until they were 14. Steve Francis was 16. Giannis was playing soccer until someone wised up, probably gave him the same speech. And now he's an MVP. Okay, so what, coach? I mean, I'm not just some charity case you want to help out? What's in it for you? Right. Wins. I have a lot of good kids. I need special. I'm special. Your natural ability is, yes. If I play basketball again, it starts all over. Those questions. It becomes about him again. It's never been just me, it's always been us. Stop running and take him on. When we first met, you told me how you loved Newark, bled Newark. You wanted to be part of a big world. This is how you get it. Maybe football is your game. I mean, you play like you're trying to run your head through a brick wall. <laughs> nah, this game ain't for you. This game's all about nuance. Subtlety, son. Paul Frazier, Bill Russell, MJ. Yeah, what about LeBron? He was a football player. You ever seen that man pass? That's the beautiful game right there. Yo, Duke, great to see you on the court again, baby. Yo, we saw you win state. Brick City for real, son. Thank you, appreciate y'all. See that, son, right there? That's what I'm about. What are you about? Right now, this is a rebirth. We are only as strong as our belief in each other. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Come on. All right, let's go now, Breeden. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. I said it. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Eagles. Eagles. Junior, just a second. No pressure here. All you got to do is be better than me in my first game. All right, so what happened? Just aim for more points than turnovers, all right? And you'll do fine. This is your moment. Thanks, Enjoy Coach. It. Let's 
go, baby! Both teams looking to improve on their final positions from last year. A win tonight would be a great step towards that goal. Bobby Erickson leads the way for the Hornets. They go against go. an Eagles team with quite a few new faces. Still, though, Newark is led by senior KJ Day. And the crowd will be a factor here for the Eagles. All right, this here we go. The type of atmosphere you love to see at the high school level. My first phase, get a bucket. Uh, money, that's what I'm talking about. Started off with the assist, the hot assist. With no surprises, with confidence. All right, come on now. Pastor Junior. Look how fast some drinks is coming. Uh, bucket. First bucket, baby. This kid has such a bright future ahead of him. Oh, I saw you. I saw you swiping. Uh, get the bucket. Get the bucket. Come on now. Come on now. That's how we do it right there. Ah. Try to swipe that. Damn, he just took that out of his hand. Oh. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. He, he thought he was open. I'm gone. Give me that. Uh, bucket. Come on now. Uh, uh. I look like a grown man playing with these children. Come on now. Come on now. Playing with your food. Playing with your food. Come on now. Don't play with your food, baby. It's go time. Come on now. Hands up, baby. Hands up. Hands up. Mm. Cash for the... Ooh, baby. Cash, baby. Cash, baby. Give me that back. Let me get that. Cash out. Cash out, baby. Uh. Oh, good block. Good block. From range. Uh. Uh, off the glass, baby. Come on now. Let's play a little defense. I'm telling y'all to play Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You see me? The defense can't be stopped now. Hey, and this team takeover is lasting for almost the entire game. Ah. Come on now. It's defense. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, my. Come on now. You're not about to do none of that. You're not about to do none of that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. There we go. Good bucket. Good bucket. I'm playing an elite brand of basketball. Oh, they gave it a personal foul. Uh. Come on now. Come on now. We want to. We want to. We... In his eyes. In his eyes. And the level of skill from the last few years is visibly better for the Eagles. Yo! Look who's got some serious skill. Oh, you like that? You like that? <laughs> Kid, that was something special watching you out there tonight. Yo, wait, wait up. Wait. Man. How you doing, kids? My name is Archie. Archie Baldwin. Dad and I were teammates. Yeah, I think I remember that. Can't remember though. For sure. Uh, I was just a little kid when we were still playing ball. Well, he sure loved you. Talked about you all the time. There was a story about a purple jumper. You had to wear this yeah. thing every day or you it's would blue. cry. Uh, nice to meet you, Ar Archie. Archie? Yeah. Nice hey, to meet look, you. I I'll get right to the point. Upside, off the charts. Strong basketball IQ, high motor, and you understand tempo. It's a package. Easy to sell. Sell? Yeah. So who? Like, scholarship? Exactly. Is that something you think, or something you know you can do? I mean, it's only one game. You show me what you got on the next one, bring me some high numbers, and we'll talk. But for right now, enjoy the moment.
You said Archie, right? Archie Baldwin. Joseph. Outside for Ducey. And something seems to be bothering Junior out there. He's favoring his leg. Yeah, it looks like something might have gone wrong with his knee on the last trip down. You hate to see that late in a game like this one. You have to wonder if he'll be able to keep playing. Hey, hey. Easy now. It's okay, coach. I felt fine when I was playing. Just, I just tweaked it at the end there. Mm -hmm. It's good you checked out all the same, yeah? Easy, man. It's slow. <laughs> so how am I doing now? You did good. You did real good. It was a hard win. And we got some good tape to show the right people. D1 good? It's a step. Two games, it's a small sample size. But it gets the recruiters in the room. Then you get your deal. Assuming that's okay. Ah, oh, yeah, it's just a sprain. I'll be limited next game, but I can still go. Just like your old man. Played through it all. Even in the championship. On a he busted was... foot. And he still dropped 40. You know the story. I know all the stories, Arch. Man, it's cold outside. Let's go get something to eat. Go on me. Need me to hold that? No, nah, no. Nah. Hola, Linda. Como. Si... Como are you. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, yeah. Ay, this yes. time, I'm working ay, with this pero, kid. Pero, oh, I'm working ah. with this one. I... That's Junior. Me da mi brazo, me da mi brazo. <laughs> she said you better go over and give her a hug. She remembers when you were a baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. Please, sit on the house. <sighs> Obrigada. Yeah, man, uh, photos on these walls. The man, y'all knew? I never knew that, man. <laughs> I sacrificed a lot for you and your mom. That's why I wonder if he would have been in that. Look, I'm going to stop you right there, all right? This is not going to be a situation where you start becoming my mentor and giving me all type of life advice, all right? Look, I'm not a victim. I don't got no daddy issues. The man you knew is just not the man I knew. That's all. So what about the next game? Uh, coach just wants me to sit until I get healthy. I agree. Isn't the game after the next one the big invitational at the, at the Barclays? A lot of elite players are going to be there from around the country. Yeah, Andrew Cobb. Your father used to coach him, right? Yeah, we was tight till this family moved to New Orleans when we were 12. you all still talk? Yeah, here and there on social. His name is number one on every board that matters. Yeah. He's the show, which makes it easy for us to get people there who can push the needle. But that needle ain't gonna budge if you're limited. All right, so what's up, Archie? I mean, clearly you got connections and everybody knows you. So why aren't you working some college job? Well, I did. Big Ten, Big East, did it for 20 years. <sighs> then competition got a little heavy. I started coloring outside the lines a little. You a band? No, 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 nothing that dramatic. Still get a job, but when you got that scarlet letter on your chest. And I'm your way back in? That's right. I said I trust you, man. Well, you should. But your timeline is short. If, if you don't got five guys like me knocking at your door, I'm probably uh, your only chance. Look, I, I loved your father like a brother. And if I was struggling, he was always there for me. When he passed, I didn't think that I would have a chance to repay him. Maybe this is my shot. Please, just, just think about it, right? Get back to me.
Yo, Archie, hold up. Yo, I'm in. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, I won't let you down. Wasting my time. Make your move when you got it. You got the angle. Take the step. Right. Commit. You got me. Fine. Wasting go. my time. I got you. I got you. That's what you got to say. What do you expect me to say? I don't want you to say. Why don't you stop putting in the work? Put in the work, Junior. I worked so hard on my step back, the heels on my Jordans unraveled. I gave my heart, my last breath to my team. Everyone I played for in Australia. Yeah, I heard the story before Pop is getting but old. But you're not listening. You got it all figured out now? Why, because you got a little bit of talent because you put in a little bit of work? You gonna get old, football player. You'll see. You can cut your whole heart out for this game. What's it gonna get you? For what? Look at me. Where am I right now? You better be prepared to give everything to this game and it still not be enough. Get your head in the game, check ball. Face up. Chicken it. The trainer says if you play in the next game and the knee doesn't get worse, you'd be probably 60, 70 percent for the invitational next week. But if you sit out, you'll be 100 percent. Yeah, if I can play, I'm going to play. And I want to win games too. But I'm taking the decision out of your hands. Wait, coach, you I'm can't. sitting. I protect my players no matter what, even from themselves. It's too important for your health and your future. End of story. Hello and welcome to another presentation of Garden State IAA Hoops. I'm Joe Lamy, joined by Drake Hugo and Danny Hogger. Tonight, the Newark East Eagles are going up against the North High Dragons. Danny, your thoughts on this one? Well, the big story tonight, Junior is not in the lineup. We don't know what his status is for the entire game, but he was spotted in street clothes. Overall, a huge blow to the Eagles. There's the tip. Dragons controlling up. Eagles on offense, holding, waiting for something to open up. Oh, and an ugly pass there into the first row. Eagles really struggling out of the gate without Junior. Coach Bishop can't be happy with that effort. Looks like we might be in for a long, long night. And he holds it up top. A beautiful backdoor cut. Oh, and he missed it. Wide open layup there, Come and he on. missed it. Dragons now coming back the other way and pushing the pace with the three on one. And they'll get the easy bucket. Things are going from bad to worse quickly here for the Eagles. Controlling traffic and oh, ball knocked loose there. And here we go, the Dragons going the other way. Now with a two on one. And he finishes with a silky finger roll in the lane. Oh, Joe, the Dragons are rolling. Without Junior, the Eagles look completely lost. Nothing is working for them right now. That'll do it for the first half. It's the Dragons. They lead by 13. And we send it to halftime now, back with the third quarter right after this. All right, fellas, here's the deal. We're getting blown out right now. We're getting outplayed, outpassed, out worked. All right? Second half, I don't care what happens. I want you to play hard every position. Right? Ball, rebound, play D every possession. Get some stops. Okay, now we, we can work ourselves back into this. Yeah, you can. One play at a time, alright? Sounds good. Getting yeah, better. Let's do this. I was hard to watch out there. I said I'm going in. Hey, y'all, huddle up. Y'all playing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. Settle down. Settle down. We talked about this. You need to keep that knee in check. Nah, I'm good to go, coach. It's my choice. Okay. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Win on three. Bring it in. One, two, three. 
win. Let's go, fellas. Let's go. Got a nine second difference between the shot clock and game clock here. Now Zadirko, he's covered by Coral. Back to Zadirko. Sheffield outside. Junior high post. Good. They've got a foul to give here if they need it. That'll do it for us tonight. An amazing comeback win for the Eagles. Thank you for watching another broadcast of Garden State IAA Sports. Yeah, baby. God, I love watching that. <laughs> Enjoy the moment, Junior. You'll never forget it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thanks, Arch. <laughs> now remember, rice it, okay? Yeah. Rest, ice. Compress and elevate the knee. No doubt, all week, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We focus on the invitation. That's all that matters now. <laughs> Enjoy your night, baby. You earned it. Thanks, Arch. <laughs> Remember, rice it. Recruiters everywhere. Oh, my man, Jimmy. He even got big layers up there. Evan, Chuck, a couple of heavy hitters in the NBA even getting an early look. Man, this all happening, Junior. How do you feel? I'm good. Focus. <laughs> you look good, too. <laughs> you look stressed, Arch. Well, that's okay, because I'm not playing. Now, look, a win would be ideal, but skills matter. You know, uh, positive possessions, tempo. Your demeanor in the warm-ups, your focus on, on, on huddles. Every player is an investment. They're going to be trying to get all kinds of intel to make sure you're a good fit. <laughs> Write that down. Bigger than Broadway. The Hendricks Cobb experience is about to light this city up. Hendricks, Hendricks, have you never dealt on any college selections? Or are you planning on jumping overseas? Hendricks, Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I heard we was playing. But I had to come see it with my own eyes. Yeah, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you back playing. Mm. This is where you belong, on the court. That's what's up, man. How's New Orleans, though? Home. It's good. <laughs> I'm gonna hit shoot around. All right. See you on the floor? Yep. I know that's your friend and all, but you need to stay focused. You light him up and the world will open up for you. All right, all right. You need to reel it in now. Nah. I'm serious. Nah, I'm serious too, man. It's just the vein in your neck is bulging right now, man, and I'm worried about you. Ain't no vein in my neck bulging. How, how, how big is it? <laughs> Look, man, I'm just saying you need to worry about your salt intake. I, that, that's all. See, now you're pushing it. I done played basketball before. I know what this game is about. I know how to win. As soon as that tip goes up, ain't no friends no more. Don't worry, Arch. I got it. <laughs> no. This room's for players and coaches only. Out. Ah, oh, it's okay, coach. He's me. I know exactly who he is. Out! Hey, come on now, don't hold back. Tell me how you really this feel. Is funny to you? No, it's not. But it's your show, right, Henry? Yeah. What's he gonna owe you after all this? Nothing. Hmm. Nothing at all, coach. Have a great game, Junior. Thanks, Sarge. It's all up to you now. We'll get him. So as I was telling you, yeah. And the Battle of Brooklyn goes to the Eagles. Fantastic end to this Invitational as Newark East gets the win in their own backyard. Even though they were the local team, I don't think many expected the Eagles to win this.
gritty performance from them to take down the top team in the nation. And it's certainly a disappointment for the Civic Cats who came into this game as favorites, but they lost to a team that played with heart and put it all together right when they needed to. We saw a great game from Junior as well. We want to thank everyone for watching the Battle of Brooklyn. Thanks for joining us. I mean, what else can I say? Shoot, we made it down better than you would be a starter. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't go that far. Well, you got me here. There <laughs> yep. will be others. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Hey, man, I'm proud of you. <laughs> you too, man. Yeah, yeah. Go celebrate with your team. You deserve it. All right. Hey. hey, what's up, coach? What's up, bro? <laughs> How's it? Good, man, good. Listen, I know you got to meet with your man Arch and all, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he got some big news for me, so I'm excited to get after it. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. All right, listen, coach. I know where you're headed with this, okay? I got it handled. See right there, when someone says they got it handled, that's when I know they got a blind spot. And if I'm looking to take advantage, that's music to my ears. Man, I've been taking care of myself for a long time. Coach, I know all the hustles. I know your man Archie is gonna have some pro options lined up for you, but I strongly advise you to go to college. The atmosphere, tradition, coaching cannot be matched. Now, none of it's easy. College is a microscope. A few bad games will get magnified and hurt your draft stock. Negative press snowballs in college. Yeah, but Positive press snowballs, too. Exactly. Keep it positive. The money will come. Just keep your eyes open. Yeah. I will. So you're saying in the G League, I have a line of weeds, develop my game, and get paid now? Exactly. Get a few endorsements, boost that paycheck, and you get the NBA development staff, so when you level up to the league, you'll already know the structure of the pro game. Now the flip side of that is, there's grown men in the G League, lifers, looking for a 10-day contract by any means necessary. Yeah, which means I might have a target on my back. Man, show this kid up, punch a ticket to the league. Man, it cuts both ways. You show him up, you look even more ready for the league. I mean, it's not a bad place to be in. You get to work on your draft stock without any immediate pressure, and then, you know, eventually, you go to the Winter Showcase, where you can show up for the scouts then hit the draft. You'll be around? I'll be here and there as your acting manager. All right. What about if I go to college? I mean, look, you go to the G League, you get injured, you got a contract. You go to college, get injured, there's no contract. So, G League or college? The choice is yours, Junior. Thanks, Arch. All right, as y'all can see, we're coming to our first official decision, and we had to choose between committing to college or signing with the G League. Now, when it comes down to it, here's the biggest differences for me. Uh, for the G League, you can earn a little more money, a lot quicker, and uh, get you like almost streamlined to the process of the NBA, but at the same time, it's telling you that because you're dealing with higher quality opponents, you will get a better feel for playing in the NBA game. Now. In the past, we know that 2K has never, ever made the My Career Storyline games anywhere near as tough as the NBA games. Now, for college, I can earn a few more fans. And by, by my accounts playing on current gen, um, earning more fans before getting to college would be the preferable choice. And then because of the big man on campus, it's going to be easy for me to kind of level up uh, maybe not earn the VC, but level up and get my, my caps all the way up as high as I can before getting into the league and then stacking my VC to make my man uh, an elite player coming out. Now, I chose college. You already know I'd rather go for the fans. That's going to give me the better endorsements. That's going to give me the better per game VC bonuses. And then for his college, I decided to go with Gonzaga. It's very it's very simple. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Wizards fan, uh, Rui Hachimura big fan of what the young boy is doing plus also kelly olenic went to, went to uh, gonzaga so why not right why not I just feel like college wouldn't make sense for me right now okay i'm a big boy i can handle it <laughs> this is what i said i would help you with anyway right yeah you did the work so now we're here all right so what happens with us now 
first and get you on the phone with Coach because I know he's going to be thrilled. If you think you're ready to declare for the draft, just hit me up. You're moving into a bigger world now, kid. You think you're ready for it? Ah, uh, no doubt. Let's go get it. All right, guys, we're officially off to college. Now, before we can start our college experience, the first thing I got to do is get the hell out of Rookieville. It's time for me to get to the city in order to truly experience the life of a next-gen NBA 2K, my player, and my career. So, episode two will not be college. Episode two will instead be our road to getting out of Rookieville. I'm hoping you all enjoying this so far. Let me know whether you saw some of those altered uh, cutscenes or whether you saw the, um, the some of the cutscenes that literally were expanded upon and uh, let me know down in the comments below if you enjoying the series if you want to see this series continue to rock because we got a lot to do and we're going to mix in some we're going to mix in some college we're going to mix in some nba we're going to mix in some some rec we're going to mix in some park we're going to actually mix in a lot of park because i really do like the look of the city itself and i really want to get involved on everything that's going on and see just how high of a level i can get to before this 2k is out before this 2k is done so that's your i'm your boy you came to boss i hope you all enjoyed it uh thanks for sticking with me as long as you have and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace